Uh, hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how to apply a password and expiration time to an expert advisor. So when you sell an uh, expert advisor, you can be sure that the customer can use it only for a specific time and after the expiration time, it would be disabled. First of all, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please click on subscribe button and hit the bell button so you can be informed when, whenever we upload new uh, videos. Now I open Meta Editor. Now in Meta Editor, we would open a new project, click on new and then select Expert Advisor, click on next and give your Expert Advisor a name, for example, pass word expert advisor uh, and then click on next next and finish uh, now we have an expert advisor it is open uh, the first thing that we are going to do is to uh, define a string variable which is named password uh, in this case, we only can use the password, uh, the, the password string only in the code. But in order to uh, have a pop-up screen where uh, at the beginning or at the first time that the expert advisor is running, the user be able to enter its password uh, in the pop-up screen, we must give this uh, string variable an input time type and you must define a property here i will uh, i will explain more in the following uh, at the, but we, you must know that uh, this property must be defined script show input without this property and uh, giving the password an input type uh, we wouldn't have the pop-up screen so after that in on init section which is only run when the expert advisor is running for the first time at the beginning of running our code the first thing that is run is on init section so in this place we want to have we must have an if condition where we check if the password the password variable which is entered uh, by the user is not equal to our password which for example here we the password is 778899 uh, if the password is not equal to this we want to have a, first an alert which say that the password is wrong and then we want to uh, apply an order to stop the expert advisor from working for this purpose we return this init failed by returning in it failed the expert advisor would automatically stop working uh, so if the password is wrong we would have an alert and then the expert advisor stop working uh, we compile it we see that we don't have any error and now we want to check if uh, the pass the expert advisor is expired or not for this purpose we would define another input which is the type the type of variable is date time and its name is expiration time uh, it has a value how to give uh, expiration time variable a value so let's double click on date and time and press f1 we would have the help uh, windows for date and type uh, uh, variables so date and time variables would be defined like this we would have D and then this mark and then year, month, day, hour, 
minutes and seconds. We would copy it and paste it in our code. Uh, for example, we want to, uh, today is uh, 12th of uh, September 2021. For example, we want to have time until, for example, September 15th, hour 23, 59 and 59 after this time uh, the expert advisor would stop working so uh, we have this variable and now we check if we are uh, in the valid time or not so if uh, time current this time current is uh, a predefined function in, in MQL language and it's returned the time of server which uh, broker is run on it. So it is not uh, it is not the system or our laptop time. It is uh, the server time. So uh, if you use the time of our, for example, laptop, the user can change the time of its laptop. So uh, it can uh, still stay uh, in the valid time frame. But with using the server time they have you don't have this uh, capability so if the time current is greater than expiration time it is it means that the expert advisor is expired so we want to have an alert alert which it says the expert advisor is X higher and then we want the expert advisor stop working so we copy this line of code and then paste it here else else if this condition is not true and we are not and the expert advisor is not expired we want to check these parts of code where it checks if the password is uh, true or not and at the end of the code when for example the uh, time is valid and the password is true uh, it would return in it succeeded and then it would jump in the unticked section and we want here to have a comment I'm using comment here because with alert, we would have alert for each tick of the price. So uh, it would be somehow annoying. But with comment, we wouldn't have this problem. Uh, we want to have a comment which is, uh, says which says that the expert advisor is running. So... Uh, we compile it and we will go to MetaTrader uh, and use this and in the expert advisor section we find our expert advisor which is password expert advisor and then we drag and drop it into the uh, your USD windows so uh, as you can see here we have a pop-up windows uh, one of the section is inputs in inputs we can enter the password uh, remember that without uh, defining the input for the password and defining this property here which property script show input we wouldn't have this pop-up screen so in the pop-up screen if the password was the password uh, was uh, 73889099 for example I enter a wrong password with the OK, if I press OK button, I would have an alert which is said that the password is wrong. As you can see here, the password is wrong. Uh, remember that now we are in the valid time frame, but for example, let's change the expiration time to, for example, 8. 0, 8. 15 of August. Now we are uh, now we must have a message that is that says uh, the expert advisor is expired. So we compile it and 
uh, we drag and drop our XP advisor in your UST windows. Uh, it doesn't matter whether the password is true or wrong. For example, if the password is true, still we would have a message that it says that says uh, the XP advisor is expired. As you can hear, see here, the XP advisor is expired. But if uh, we stay in a valid time frame and the password is uh, true, we would have this comment which is said that the expert advisor is running. I compile it and then go to meta editor. And now I drag and drop the password expert advisor in Euro USD screen, uh, and uh, a screen would be pop up in the password field. I enter the right password, which is 0778899. And by pressing OK button, because we are in the valid time frame and the password is correct, uh, we must have uh, a comment here, which is, uh, say, uh, it, it says the expert advisor is running. It means that the password and the expiration time uh, work correctly. Uh, now, uh, there is another thing which is important if you go to uh, experts folder open folder uh, as you can see here we have two type of files one of them is .x4 and the other is .mq4 the mq4 contain the code and if you give it uh, give it to the customer they can have access to the code and change for example the password or the expiration time but you must sell the .x4 to the customer so they cannot change the code and they only can access uh, to the expert advisor via the meta trader not meta editor here from this screen in the navigator they would only have this section and they can only drag and drop it into the uh, screen so uh, we learned how to apply a password to an expert advisor with expression time uh, but uh, you may know that there are many other ways for this purpose uh, but the purpose here was to do it as easy as possible. If you know any other ways to uh, give a password to an expert advisor, please leave me a comment. And if you find this video useful, please hit the like button. Uh, I hope you all doing well. Have a good day.